Hang it up my ass. Fuck off. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video I've gathered a list of cars that are all under £5,000. This video was requested so I think I'll find the comment I'll put it here on the screen but this person requested this video. So if you have any video requests, video ideas, comment them down below and I might do your video next if it sounds good to me. And I can do it obviously. So I'm going to do five manual cars and five automatic cars. That I've come up with, I've searched for them all and I've got them all on my iPad here. So every single car that I mentioned I'm going to be looking at the specifications of that car. So it's going to be the performance, the driver convenience, the exterior features and the interior features. So I've got them all here so if I look down that's really well because I obviously won't know them off my head. I haven't wrote a script or nothing for this video. So I'm just going to run through the cars and tell you all that specification stuff so like i said i'm going to start off with the manual cars so starting off the list by the way they're not in any particular order i just like found them then put them on the list straight away so yeah it's not best worst worst best whatever it's, it's simply just randomized so anyways the first car that i've found which i thought was good is a renault clio by the way i'll put all the pictures on the screen of the vehicle and the specifications anyways so it's a renault clio 2010 reg car this is on auto trader for 3990 so you'll get them around four four grand to the five grand you could get them really um obviously you can get them a bit lower depending on the mileage because this car's mileage is actually 145,000 which is a lot because normally um if a car goes over 100,000 miles you start to get problems with the car but you can find some of them that are below that um this is a 2 litre car by the way um, it's got four seats and it's a three dark car. Um, did I say it's a two litre car with petrol? And so yeah, you can get them for around 80,000 miles and upwards, obviously, because that one, like I said, has a lot of mileage on this one that I found on Auto Trader. Auto Trader is one of the good websites to look on for cheap cars, by the way. So the specifications for this car is the performance is 0 to 60 in 6.9 seconds. Um, I don't really know much about cars, but I'm literally just telling you what is on here. Um, I think that is actually a good note to 60, I would say. Because some cars I've seen that they've got like up to 10 seconds to get to 60. But yeah, valves, I don't know what that is, but it's 16. Top speed is 140 miles an hour. Mm, it's like average really, isn't it? Engine power, 197. Don't even know what style line it is, but it's full. And engine... I don't know what that is either. 158.58 feet, laps, pounds, I don't know. <laughs> Engine power is 197, I think I already said that one. So the driver convenience and all this stuff is just good stuff that's in the car. So it's got four speakers, um, it has four time 20 watts radio, uh, CD player, MP3 reader, fingertip remote controls, that sounds good. Automatic climate control, automatic windscreen wipers, cruise control and speed limiter, driver's loom adjustable seat, electrical front windows and anti-pinch function and one touch control for driver and passenger. Oh, very good for that price. Height adjustable driver's seat, height and reese adjustable steering column, leather gearbox, luxury, <laughs> multifunction trip computer, Renault key card with hands-free entry. What? For a car that's four grand i know like it's got loads of miles but hands re-entry Renault sport leather steering wheel with stitch yellow center band wow split folding rear seats tinted windows upholstery Renault sport cloth in black and gray i've got a chewy by the way but yeah that sounds good so now we're going to move on to the exterior features and interior features. So exterior is that it's got alloy wheels, 17 inches, 5 spoke, Renault Sport. It's got black gloss front bumper trim and electrically heated door mirrors with temperature sensor and driver's blind spot, eliminating mirror. Ooh, that's what my mum's car's got. But there, yeah, it's really good. Um, apparently I didn't get the interior features on that one because I didn't click the little button that shows you it, but... Um, probably is this good. It's got leather stuff in there and stuff like that. So, that is the first car. Um, it's very good for that price. But like I said, the miles are a bit, 
But anyways, the second manual car that I found is a Suzuki Swift 2012. This is good because it's 2012. I wanted a Suzuki Swift, um, an automatic, but the one that I want is like 15 grand. <laughs> I don't have that, but you know, I found this one and it's a sport car. It's got three doors. It's a 1.6 litre and this one that I did find it has 100 100,000 miles that's a lot but you can find them for 65,000 miles and upwards so 65,000 miles for a first car isn't too bad uh, yeah I would say that's really good um like I said I didn't say I did I say I don't know but this one is 4,750 pound and it is in the great price section okay now we're going to look at the specifications on oh, by the way as you can see that is a blue car and it does look like a sporty car and it looks like quite up to date in my eyes anyways but this one does a note of 60 in 8.7 seconds see this one's more like takes more time to get up to there but yeah the other one was better for that the valves are 16 top speed is 121 miles an hour i thought suzuki swift especially if it's a sport car would do more than that but okay engine power 134 uh, bhp cylinders are four and engine torque if that's how you see it i don't know 118.02 so now we're going to go to the driver convenience this is adjustable steering column and wheels air conditioners automatic center console clock cruise control cup holder in-car entertainment like radio cd and mp3 player player chewie's doing all this stuff my hair what the heck i washed it yesterday anyways seat height adjustment speaker steering wheel lever is lever steering wheel micro controls for the audio telephone equipment bluetooth interface tinted glass all around the car and you knew that wins <laughs> upholstery cloth and vinyl don't know if i said that right now i'm going to move to xtv features it's got alloy wheels which are 17 inches and body colored bumpers Interior features are computer, driver information system, external temperature display, power socket and socket and techometer. I don't know what that is, but sounds interesting. So there's a second car. The third car is what most people do like. I don't really like BMWs, but um, because of the saloon cars, I really don't like saloon cars. They make me feel sick. I like hatchback cars. But anyways, this is a BMW 7 Series 2006 and it's got four doors but i'm assuming that they've put it on wrong because it'll obviously have five doors including the boot or maybe it doesn't have a boot who knows anyways it's a three litre car it is diesel the other ones were petrol i don't like diesel cars um yeah this one's worth three thousand five hundred pounds it's only done ninety nine thousand miles obviously it's oh it actually says below average i thought it would have been more than average you know but it's apparently it's good anyways this car it is okay, they do look sleek, whatever, they look luxury, even though you can get them like that price. Um, but now I'm going to move on to the specifications, the performance, 0.60, not to 60 miles an hour, sorry, is 7.8 seconds, which isn't bad. Blah, bad. The valves are 24, top speed is 148, now that's better. Engine power 228, cylinders are 6 and engine is 385.55, that must mean that's got a massive engine. I'm supposing that's what it means because I don't really know. But driver convenience, so it has adjustable steering column and wheel. Air, well, it's the same thing. Air condition is automatic. It's got armrest, cruise, cruise control, electric windows, front and back, in car entertainment, radio CD, satellite na na navigation, sat nav, seat height adjustment, electrical front driver memory, speakers, steering wheel mounted controls, telephone equipment, upholstered seat lever, and voice activated controls. Wow. Um, now we're going to go exterior features, alloy wheels are 18 inches, body coloured bumpers, mirrors external, paint metallic and side protection mouldings. It's got interior features of a computer, dark cherry wood finish matte, light cherry wood finish matte and mirrors internal. So that is, I think that was the third manual car. So now I'm going to move on to the fourth one which is, I'm on the fourth one now, which is the luxurious Volkswagen Golf which is another car that a lot of people go for. So this is a 2005 car, registration, it's two litres and it's petrol and it's £4,000 for this one. Um, it's done 101,000 miles, which apparently it's below average, but um, so that must mean good 
This is a GTI by the way, so it's a sport car again. So you expect good from this if it's a sport car. Not not a 60, is 6.9 seconds. The top speed is 145 miles an hour. Valves is 16, engine power 198. Cylinders are four, engine torque is 206.53. The driver convenience, convenience, let me put my hair right. Driver convenience is 10 speakers. Wow, that's a lot of speakers in a tiny car. Did I see it? has got five doors, by the way. Um, Two-zone electric climate control, aluminium gear knob, carpet mats, front and rear, cup holder, front times two and one on the back, electric windows, front and rear, front seat with adjustable head um, restraints and height adjustments, um, front seats with lumbar adjustments, front sports seats, wow, heat installed in blue tinted glass, height and reach adjustable steering wheel, leather trim three spoke steering wheel with GTI logo, radio and a CD player, rain sensor, split fold and rear seats and uphold street interlugs cloth, which whatever that is because I don't know. Exterior features is alloy wheels, these are, what the heck is that? Four seven point five gear times seventeen. Can I just put the inches on? I don't know. But it's got anti theft and um, wheel bolts on it. Electrically heated and adjustable door mirrors. Rear screen wash and wipe with intimate wipe. Roof spoiler rear. Steel spear save spear spare wheel. That was like a little tongue twister there. <laughs> Uniquely shaped front and rear bumpers with honeycomb front air intake. The interior features are that's got a twelve um, volt socket socket and luggage compartment automatic dimming in interior view mirror which is what the other one had exterior temperature gauge gauge however you see it um multi-function computer midline and titan interior trim so the last manual car that i have to show you guys that is obviously under oh i think this is the cheapest one that i found huh. this is a good one i guess this is a fiat punto it's a 2012 Reg, um, it's 1.2 litres and it only has three doors, but it's still a good car. And this is £1,675, which is a very, very low price, as you can see on like, the price gauge thing. And it's only done 62,743,000 miles, which isn't bad at all. Um, It's got five seats and it's really good, I think. Like, the colour's white, it looks... Alright, for a first car, my legs are killing because I'm literally kneeling down to get to the height of the camera. But anyways, the performance, mm, not just 62 miles an hour, it's very bad, I'm not gonna lie. 14.40 seconds, that's very bad. It's valves, got 8, top speed is 97. Oh, that is horrendous, but it's a good price I guess. I mean, at least it might stop me from going too fast and like crashing or whatever <laughs> engine power 69 uh sliders whatever four engine torque is 75.23 only one thing in the driver convenience is that it's got a trip computer mm, so i feel like it's not very good but if it's your first car it's not too bad is it really exterior features it's got 15 inch steel wheels and a fix and go puncture repair kit oh that's one that the other cars didn't have um oh it doesn't have interior features on here, but it's got technical, dual drive power steering. I think all of them cars have it. But that is the five manual cars. So obviously I didn't want to leave any type of car out. So I've done five manual. And next is the five automatic, because obviously I drive automatic. I can only drive automatic cars. So I'll just add both in there. Um, so the first automatic car is just a little simple black one. It's a Toyota Ego 2006. It's a three door and it's a hatchback, which is what I like. It's a one litre car. And the best thing about it is that it's only done 39,065 miles. Um, it costs 4,599 and it's only had one owner. Anyways, so the performance, not to 60, is 14.9 seconds. Not too good, but it is a tiny little car. It's really the first car, isn't it? Valves is 12. Top speed is 98. Engine power 67. C cylinders is 3. And engine torque is 68.60. Tell me if I'm seeing engine torque right, because I don't think I am. <laughs> but who cares? Sorry if I'm like offending any car real car people, you know. 
Driver convenience, it has adjusted steering wheel column and a wheel, same thing. Electrical windows in the front only, in car entertainment, radio and CD. Speakers, up holder, suit cloth. The exterior features is alloy wheels, they're 14 inches. It's body coloured, coloured bumpers, metallic paint, mirrors that are external, spare wheel, full size steel. The other ones didn't have that. Windscreen white belt and the interior features is it has a power socket. Yeah. Next car, which is automatic, is the Peugeot 207 2008 Reg car. It is 1.6 litres and it's only a three door car and it only costs 1695 which is a great price according to Auto Trader. I love the colour of this car. Like I, I absolutely do love that colour. Yeah, so this car's only done 88,000 miles, uh, which is quite good. Um, its performance, 0 to 60, is 12.7 seconds. The valves are 16, and top speed is 122 miles an hour. Its engine power is 120, cylinders is 4, and engine torque is 118.0.2. The driver convenience is adjustable steering wheel, air conditioning, air conditioning again, air armrest, ashtray slash lighter, clock, a cup holder, electric windows in the front, it's got a gear knob which is a lever, in-car entertainment, a radio slash CD player, seat height adjustment, speakers, steering wheel which is a lever, steering wheel, mount controls for the audio on the um, radio, tinted glass and uphold street cloth comes with it. Then the exterior features, it has alloy wheels which are 16 inches, body coloured bumpers, mirrors which are external, side protection mould and spare wheel which is full size, windscreen wiper and the interior is computer, driver information system and a rev counter. I thought all had, cars had rev counters but I don't know. The next car is a BMW 3 Series, I thought I'd put BMW H manual on my because I know people do like BMWs. Um, this is 2006, it's got four doors, I'm guessing again five doors, they're just missing out the boot. This is £3,999, it's only done 62,000 miles, which is good. Um, did I say it's a two litre car? The performance of it is not a 60, it's 8.6 seconds, top speed is 137 miles an hour, the valves are 16, engine power 163, engine torque cores 250 and the cylinders are 4. Driver convenience is air conditioning which is automatic, it has an armrest, front foldable with storage compartment, BMW professional radio with single CD player, centre console, cruise control, cup holders, electric windows, front and rear, that's good, heated rear screen, leather steering wheel, loudspeaker system with six speakers, multi-functional steering wheel, start stop button, I love cars with that button, steering column with manual reach and rake, rack adjustment, Sun visor with vanity mirrors, upholder suit fluid cloth. The exterior features are 16 inch in alloy wheel steel 156, body colour bumpers, exterior mirrors, heated electrical adjustments, heated windscreen washer jets, interior is interior lights package, on board uh, computer OBC, matte uh, titanium interior trim, rear view mirror automatically which is dimming. That's really good. The next car, which is one that I really like the look of, but I wouldn't go for it, but I like the look of it, is a C8 IBZ. This is a 2011, which is a good year to get a car from. It's a 1.2 litre. It is a sport car and it's only got three doors. With sport cars, most of them only, only have three doors, but it's hey ho. Anyways, this one is a 4,795, so it's more of up towards the 5,000 mark. Um, it's 63,330 miles, but uh, Auto Trader is saying it is a good price, which I think it is too. So the performance of this car is not a 60 in 9.7 seconds. It does top speed of 180 miles an hour. The cylinders are 3, valves are 12, engine power 104, engine torque core is 129.8. Um, the driver convenience is adjustable steering wheel, air conditioning, cup holder, easy entry height, adjustable passenger seat, electric windows, front and rear, rear, rear what? extra storage, grab handles, in-car ent entertainment, sorry I got an email, radio CD, MP3 player, leather steering wheel slash gear knob, seat height adjustment, seat split rear, speakers, split folding rear seats, steering wheel, mounted controls which is the audio, sun visor, tinted glass, trip computer and up hold the street cloth. The exterior features are 16 inch alloy wheels, alloy wheels 15 inch, roof reels, a spare wheel, space saver and interior is that it has a power so socket. Um, I think this is the last car isn't it? 
yeah so the last car that i have to share with you guys that is under five thousand pound which actually this is the highest um amount but it's a good car i think um it's a Vauxhall Corsa everybody goes for these um it's a 2008 1.4 litres and it's a five door um it is £4,850 on Auto Trader. It's saying it's a lower price, £1,240 below average market price. And the best thing about it, it's only done 28,000 miles. This person, whoever's owned this car, has kept it up to scratch because for it to only do 28,000 miles since 2008, that's a bit crazy. And I've seen the pictures and it looks so clean inside. So, yeah, anyways. Um, the performance of this car is not as 60 in 13.8 seconds, top speeds of 103 miles an hour, cylinders are 4, valves are 16, engine power 89, engine torque cost 92.20, the driver convenience is 60-40 split fold and rear seat back, 7 speakers, air conditioning, CD 30 MP3, uh, stereo radio, CD player with MP3 format and auxiliary and connection. Digital clock with automatic RDS time adjustment, drink holder and centre console, driver's seat height adjustment, electrically operated front windows with safety, auto visor and one touch facility, auto reverse I meant sorry. Glove box with lid, front passenger under seat storage tray, heated rear windows, leather covered steering wheel, piano black centre console, rain sensitive windscreen wipers, right steering control column adjustment for reach and rake, steering wheel mounted audio controls, tinted glass, twin sun risers with vanity mirror, slide and cover, upholder to cloth, fuse cloth, Moroccan, I think that's what this is. The exterior features are 15 inch steel spare wheels, 16 inch seven spoke alloy wheels, body colour bumpers, body colour side protection moulders, intimate rear windows, wash wipe, twin electricity, what? Electrically adjustable heated um, door mirrors and windscreen wipers. The interior features are electrical accessory socket, electro crime metric anti dazzler rear view mirror, <laughs> load restraint lashing, lashing eyes, multi function display panel showing outside air temperature with ice warning function. So, guys, that is five manual and five automatic cars that I have found on Auto Trader, which I think were good prices, good deals, and everything that were under. £5,000! So I hope this video was helpful that and showing you that you can literally go on Auto Trader and find cars that are like your price budget and you can find good ones that didn't take me long to find all them cars, believe it or not. Like half an hour to an hour max. My knees are killing because I'm literally kneeling. But um, to the person who commented for this video, I hope this video helped you too, or if you liked it, I don't know, comment who actually made that comment, comment if you liked this video, and yeah, if you guys liked the video, like the video, and thank you guys for watching, bye!